really busy, sir. No, look, no, I understand. Doctor, I'm, you know, I'm really busy here myself. Look, we're going to come back to you in one month with one idea and one idea only. You know, if you like what we have to say, great. You know, we'll, we'll do business. If not... I mean, worst case scenario, you're going to hear yourself a new business idea. You, Whoever took that x-ray, it is useless. We're, we're going to part as friends. That's fair, right? Of what? Doc, are you working with a million dollars in the market right now? Who is this again? Hey, you know, tell me something. You're a doctor. Have you ever heard of a drug called Benadryl? It's being manufactured by MSC Pharmaceuticals. No. Well, listen, listen, okay? Listen, it's in the third stage of FDA approval, all right? Word is it's going to be approved within the next three months. And it could be tomorrow for all I know. But, you know, I, I, you know I'm getting ahead of myself, and you're real busy over there. So why don't I just send you out the information you requested about the firm? No, wait, 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 forget the info. Forget the info. Let's talk about this now. What was the name of that drug again? Could you hold on for one second? Uh, I'm going to get uh, uh, a senior broker who's a little more familiar with that particular stock, all right? Hold on a second, okay? One second. Rocco! So his name is Dr. Jacobson. I, I'd say from the sound of it, he's definitely... Well, I don't want to hear it, kid. Okay. Hi, Dr. Jacobson. This is Chris Marlin over at J.T. Marlin. Marlin? Right, he's my father. He's my mother. So my associate tells me you're interested in one of our stocks. I will call her back. Uh, yes, uh, MSC sounds like it might be interesting. Might be? Might be doesn't sell stock at the rate MSC is going for it, Dr. Jacobs. We're talking very high volume here. Oh, well, I still have to run it by my people. That's great, Doc, if you want to miss yet another opportunity here and watch your colleagues get rich doing clinical trials and don't buy a share and hang up the phone. Well, hold on a second now. I didn't say that. I just want to talk about it some more. Honestly, Doc, I don't have the time. This stock is blowing up right now. The whole firm's going nuts. Hold on. Let me open up the door to my office. <laughs> See that, Doc? That's my trading floor. Now I have a million calls to make to a million other doctors who are already in the know. I can't walk you through this right now. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, let's do this. <laughs> now, since you're a new account, I cannot go any higher than 2,000 shares. I'm sorry. 2,000? Are you nuts? That is way beyond what I was thinking. Jesus! Listen, I'm curious. Why can't you sell me any more than that? Well, we like to establish a relationship with our clients on something small before we get to the more serious trades. Let me show you several percentage points on this small trade, and then we'll talk about doing future business. That sounds good. Uh, give me the 2,000 shares. Done. Yeah. You sure you can't do any better on this one? I'm sorry, Dr. Jacobs. I can't. I'm sorry. Oh, all right, we'll start with this trade then. Great. I promise we'll swing for the fences on the next one. Right. Do you want that confirmation sent to your office or your mansion? Ha <laughs> uh -huh, very funny, Mr. Marlin. Let me put my secretary on and she'll take down your info. It was a pleasure doing business with you. Done and done.